Hello YouTube, this is part two of the distance test, the GMAR uh, distance test using my homemade antenna. And I'm going to try to see if we can kind of zoom in up there. This is the homemade antenna. I will try to do a better uh, video of it. Um, I will post a link in the, in the description below. I did a, a video on, on making this antenna, and the only thing difference is I added a cookie sheet as a ground plane instead of grounding rods. So that's the only difference between what you see now and then the antenna video. Like I said, I'll post it down below. So let's go ahead and put this, zoom this back out, and we're going to take you inside to show you the setup. It's going to be the exact same way. This is recorded the same day as part one. Just to let you know that. It's the same day. We have the same handheld recording the sound and playing it back. The actual repeater is maybe 20 feet away. And it's the same repeater, same setup. Stock RT, Revis RT97 repeater. We're going to show you the SWRs of this homemade antenna and the power output. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. So there you have it, SWR is 1.01. .01. The power output is a little over 6 watts, 6.11. So we're going to take you on a little road trip. We're going to go to the same locations as I did in part one. Um, we're going to see how this homemade antenna works compared to a store-bought antenna. If I remember right, this antenna, when I was making it, I was trying to do a full wave, but it ended up being, I don't remember if it was a 5 8 wave or 3 8 I don't remember what it is, but I'll... If I don't forget, I'll post the link to that antenna video in the description. So let's put you on pause. Let's go for a little road trip. Okay, guys, we're at our first location, which is 0.8 miles away as the crow flies. This is testing my homemade GMRS antenna. Let's give her a try. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Um, it's sounding pretty good. We're going to do another test here. Radio check. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Sounding real good. Let's go to the next location. I'll put you on pause and we'll be right back. Okay, we're at the next location which is 1.37 miles away as the crow flies. Also, too, I'd like to point out this, been, this video's been recorded the same day I did the other uh, part one video. Just let people know that. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Definitely a little scratchy there. Try one more time. Radio check. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. You can make it out, but definitely got some static there. Let's go to the next location and see what happens. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're at... Uh, the other location now, which is 1.5 miles away as the crow flies. Let's go ahead and see how this homemade antenna works. Radio check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, static key. We, you, you can make it out. Let's try one more time. Radio check one two three four four three two one. Four. 
Definitely got some some hiss in the background. Radio check. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Radio check. Radio check. Definitely scratchy. This is a uh, 1.5 miles away. Let's go ahead and put the video on pause and go to the next location. Okay, guys, we're at the other location. This is going to be two miles away. Uh, we're using the homemade antenna that I made, uh, the GMRS antenna. And I forgot to mention, we're using the same handheld on high setting. So let's go ahead and see if we, if this will work. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Ooh, definitely staticky. Oh yeah, definitely. Let's try one more time. Radio check, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Nope. I noticed that that last transmission, I didn't hear the squelch break, but it's still recorded and played back. So I'm very on a fine edge here. Try one more time. Radio check. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Ooh, not very good. This was approximately two miles away as the crow flies. Homemade antenna. Radio check. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Well, it's, it's, yeah, you, it's getting hard to make out. I'm hitting the repeater. It is playing it back, but eh, not not real well. Let's keep going. Let's go to the next location. I'm about to do the last two. Uh, you're probably thinking, what's the point? Because maybe the re maybe it's uh, stronger in that area. Um, every d every location's you know a little different. So we'll try the other location. So I'll put you on pause, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, at the other location, which is 2.91 miles away as the crow flies. Uh, we're going to do a distance test and see if we can hit the repeater with the homemade antenna. Radio check, 1, 2, 3, 4. Radio check, 1, 2, 3, 4. Ooh, let me try it again. Radio check, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Radio check. Mm, uh, not very good. Try one more time. Radio check, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. It's, yeah, I'm not, it's, it's trying to record and play it back, but the audio must be too low, and it just can't pick it up enough to uh, record it and play it back. I'll try it one more time here, and then we'll go on to the next one. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, uh, like I say, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of be, uh, I'm gonna kind of lean towards the f windshield here. I'm still in the vehicle. Radio check one two three four four three two one. Yeah, not not very good. It's it's even hard to make out when even when it does record, it's pretty staticky. So, let's go on to the next location. I'm going to put you on pause, and we'll be right back. 
Well, I thought as I'm driving to the last location, uh, kind of talk about the homemade antenna, why it's not performing as well as the commercial one that I bought or the store bought one. Um, there's a couple reasons for that. I think one of the reasons may be the way it, it was constructed. Now, I used the antenna calculator to get the lengths, but instead of making the antenna where I have to cut it, physically cut the antenna to get, the, to, to get good SWRs, I decided to make it adjustable antenna with an Allen wrench screw. So that may be um, affecting the uh, gain of the antenna. I'm going to guess my antenna has got low gain. Uh, the SWRs are good. You saw the SWRs, so that ain't the issue. Everything else is good on the antenna, but I think it just got really low gain. And I used the cookie sheet as a ground plane because I read somewhere the more ground planes you have, the you know the better it may work. So I used a cookie sheet. Now they say a minimum of six inches, which I believe this cookie sheet I have is bigger than that. So that shouldn't be a problem. But that's one thing that I that is different. I did not use ground ground plane rods. I used the cookie sheet. I'll try to. If I don't forget at the end of the video, at the end of this video, I'll shoot a, I'll show you the antenna close up. So at any rate, that's what I'm thinking may be the reason why my antenna is not performing as well. So on to last location, and we'll be right back with you. Okay, guys, at the last location, 2.12 miles away. Let's see how she does. Radio check one two three four. Radio check one two three four. Not too bad. We'll try one more time. Radio check one two three four four three two one. Staticky, but we can still make it out. Um, so let's go back and I'll show you the antenna up close. I'll put you on pause and be right back. Hello, YouTube. This is the antenna that um, I had on the pole. I just did the I just did the distance test on. This is what the antenna, the homemade antenna, is. Um, as for the diameter, it looks like I thought I think I said it was like eight in the earlier in the video, but it's actually like six and a half diameter. The length of this antenna is about eighteen inches tall. So this is the antenna that I just did the distance test with. Um, and I'll post a link in the description of the, the antenna build. But just keep in mind in the, in the antenna video that I did that that video showed ground plane rods and not a cookie sheet. That's the only difference. So at any rate, um, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And please subscribe. Thank you.